How hard is it to drill a V-thread in a flat rock surface? In this video, we'll find out. In my previous video on drilled anchors, we briefly touched upon the V-thread. By the way, if you haven't seen that video, make sure you check it out. I'll put the link in the description. While classical bolts are strong and easy to place, they do have drawbacks. First, they can easily get damaged by floods or rockfall if not placed properly. And second, they do leave a visual scar. And here's where the V-thread comes in. It's cheap reliable, discreet and easy to replace when damaged. So let's see how hard it is to actually drill one. I've been on a secret mission now so I've put on some neutral clothes to blend in. I'm in the forest, saw this beautiful big boulder. What I'll try to do is to try to put in a deep thread here. This is nice, pretty hard. To be honest, I've never done this before except for in ice. I don't want you guys to see a failure. Okay, so let's go. Good to go. Actually, first, before bolting, we should check the rock quality. Okay, this is, this is super solid rock. God, this is super hard rock. It's gonna take ages. So by the way, normally you do this with 14 millimeter drill. So I took my 12 short one, so normally you would have like really long one. So obviously in terms of battery life, this is not the most economical. And now is the moment of truth, huh? This is the angle. So I take this out. So this will be the center point. So now we want to drill the opposite way. Both are two holes, and lo and behold, there's light. How cool is that? I brought some rope. One hole is deeper than the other one, so it should work better to pull the rope through. Yeah! There you go, we got ourselves a V-thread. Check this out. Not too bad, huh? Without any gear. So obviously the hardest thing was getting the rope actually through. That's probably why they use a 14 millimeter drill. Pretty awesome, huh? This is bomber. Someone will just to cut it out. It's no problem. I can just put it back in. To be honest, I was a little worried that it wouldn't work out, but actually it's it's pretty okay. Anyways, great success. While it does take more skill and battery power, it's not as hard to actually drill on. What do you think? Is this something we should use more often in canning? Let me know in the comments below. So thanks for watching. If this content is helpful to you, make sure you subscribe. See you next time. Ciao.